Before you charge ahead into the meat and potatoes of this audiobook, I want to tell you what you're getting into. Basically, this is an audiobook for heterosexual men who have cheated on a woman they love, have gotten caught, and don't want to lose their relationship with her. Certainly, this content might be useful for other populations, heterosexual women, gay men, lesbians, and anyone else who has harmed a loved one by cheating. But none of these other folks are the focus of this work. This audiobook is for straight guys who have strayed and want to make things right, period. Nevertheless, I fully expect that women rather than men will be the primary purchasers of this audiobook. Specifically, I'm talking about the hurt, angry, and traumatized wife or girlfriend who just learned that her man is sleeping with a neighbor or a co-worker and possibly several other women that she doesn't know about yet. Put another way, after I have spent more than 25 years as a therapist specializing in sex and intimacy issues, particularly serial infidelity, my naivete is gone, and I no longer expect the cheater to be the one who reaches out for help. How could I when experience tells me that 99% of the time it's the betrayed spouse who insists on change? So if you're listening to this audiobook, it's highly likely that you're doing so because your significant other gave it to you, or perhaps threw it at you, with a suggestion like, listen to this, you effing asshole, or I'm leaving. I do know that some men will buy this audiobook of their own accord. If you did that, good for you. There's a very good chance that the information offered herein both can and will help you save your relationship. But as I've said, the odds are high that you didn't make the purchase because you got this little guidebook from your seething spouse. Either way, you're almost certainly clueless about two very important things. One, the types and degree of pain that your cheating has caused your partner and two, the concrete steps you must take to save your relationship. These are the primary topics this volume addresses. Of course, what you choose to do with the information contained herein is up to you. It is possible that you will go through this and think, hell no, I'm not doing any of that. If so, your relationship may not survive. And even if you take the direction and advice provided within this audiobook, following it to the letter, there is no guarantee that things will work out. This is a sad but true fact. The pain wrought by your cheating might be too much for your loving partner to forgive, no matter how much you love her. More likely, however, especially if she has gone to the trouble of providing you with this recipe for saving your relationship, not only can you repair it, you can actually make it better than ever. And that is a pretty cool thing.